In this video, we'll show you how to log in or sign up for a PATH Foundation grantee portal account, edit your contact details, apply for a grant, submit your grantee report, and reach out to the PATH Foundation for support. To log into the portal or to create a new account, you'll need to navigate to pathfoundation.force.com slash grantee portal. Once here, you'll be asked to sign in using your email address and password or sign up for a new account. If you have not received an email from the PATH Foundation inviting you to the portal and containing your email username, then you'll need to sign up for a new account. Let's look at that sign up process. First, click the sign up button. This will take you to the sign up form, which asks you for your first and last name, your primary email address, which is most likely your work email, your organization name, and your organization's EIN number. If you are a returning grantee, it is important that you use the same name, email, organization name, and EIN you use for the PATH Foundation's prior grant management system so that your account will be automatically connected with your past grant information, even if it was only an application. Let's go ahead and fill this out. You'll know that your sign-up was successful when you see the alert at the top of the page inviting you to check your email for your password link. Go to your inbox and use the link in the welcome email to set your password. Once you set your password, you'll be automatically logged into the portal. This is the portal homepage. It includes links to everything you'll need to apply for a grant, edit your contact details, or submit your grantee report. But let's take a quick tour. At the top of the page, you see links that allow you to navigate to your organization's profile, your contact record, view your past grant applications, and your upcoming and submitted grantee reports. In the main section of the page, you'll find links to apply for PATH Foundation grants. Finally, there's a Contact the PATH Foundation button, which allows you to reach out to the PATH Foundation with any questions you might have. To review your organization's profile, click Organizations from the top navigation, and set the list view to Grantee Organizations. Click your organization's name to view the profile. You won't be able to edit your profile here, but changes can be made when you submit a new grant application. Please make sure that the organization name and the EIN number you enter on new grant applications matches the account name and the EIN tax identification number listed on your organization's profile. To edit your personal contact information, click on Contacts in the top navigation and view all contacts. Click on your name to view your record. To make changes, click the Edit button. Make any of your edits. And save. Again, please make sure that the first and last name and the primary email address listed on your contact record matches any new information listed on your grant applications. If you click on Grant Applications, you'll be able to view any grants that you've previously submitted. along with any notes and attachments like the PDF of your full submission or any other uploaded documents. To submit a new grant application, navigate to the home page and click the tile corresponding to the grant you'd like to apply for. Review the requirements of the grant and if your organization meets them, click on the Apply Now link at the bottom of the page. This will open a new browser tab that contains the application. The first page of each application contains information you'll need to review before you begin. Please review it and then click Next to continue. Now you'll submit your application. The first page gathers your organization and contact details, 
As noted before, it is important that the organization name and EIN number matches the account name and EIN listed on your organization's profile. Also, please make sure that the first and last name and the primary email address listed in the primary contact information matches your contact information shown in the portal. Once you've completed all the required fields on this page, click Next to continue with the application. Make sure you complete all of the required fields on each page. If you don't, you'll be unable to move forward through the application. If at any time you need to stop your application, click the Save button and enter your email address. Then click OK. This will trigger an email to be sent to you with a link to access your application where you left off. Once you've completed all of the required fields and are ready to submit your application, click Submit. A PDF copy of your completed application will be emailed to you immediately, and a read-only version of your application will be available to view inside the portal within a few minutes. And here it is. If you do not see your completed application show up in the portal within an hour, please alert the PATH Foundation by clicking the Contact the PATH Foundation button on the home page and submitting a ticket. At this point, unless you hear from the PATH Foundation directly, your application process is complete and you will be contacted once it is reviewed. Once you receive a grant, you may be required to submit one to two grantee reports. You'll receive the due dates for these reports via email when your grant is finalized. You'll also receive reminders two weeks before the due date and another if you miss the deadline. Within these reminders, you'll find instructions and links to submit your grantee report, but you can also submit them from within the portal. To do this, click on Grantee Reports from the top navigation. Use the All Grantee Reports list view and check out all of your current grantee reports. Any grantee report with the status of incomplete is outstanding and must be completed by the report due date. To complete a grantee report, click the project name to access the report record. To edit and submit the report, click the Edit and Submit Report URL. This will open a report form pre-populated with your grant's data. Complete the form and click Submit to submit the record. Within a few minutes, your grantee report within the portal should be updated with your submitted information and the status should be changed to submitted. If it doesn't update, or if at any time you run into questions or issues and you do not know what to do, you can reach out to the PATH Foundation directly by clicking the contact button on the homepage. This will open a form where you can explain your issue and alert the PATH team. If you receive an error that you do not understand, please send a screenshot as an attachment and be sure to explain what steps you took to get the error in your message. Thanks for watching.